If we could do it all over again, what would we do differently? <laughs> hey, I'm Brock. I'm Tay. And in this video, we're going to compare van life to trailer life. Now, I do want to say we did this probably six months before we got our trailer. So this is kind of an updated one now that we've lived in a trailer, but have a really, really good understanding of what van life would be like, too. And also, we did try van life. We rented a van for a weekend. That time. does not it count. count. It does not we count. We tried it for a weekend no. like two years ago. No, it's not the same. I think it counts. A weekend does not encapsulate all that van life is. That one didn't even have like running water. You had to like pump it. Anyways, van life <laughs> versus trailer life, pros of each. All right, so we're gonna start with pro of van life. And the first pro that I wanna mention is much easier to go downtown, into neighborhoods, down little side streets. In the trailer, we have to really look where we're going on Google Maps ahead of time. Yeah, like we're, we got satellite on and we're zooming in on parking lots to see if you can pull through spaces. And yeah, sometimes I'm hopping out of the car and running to the coffee <laughs> shop while he does laps around. So. Yeah. Also, uh, being in a van would be much stealth. When you're in the trailer, you stick out like a sore thumb. A lot of the vans you see, you're like, is that person a van lifer or is that just like a workman's van? So. It's a lot stealthier. You could, in a van, park in the neighborhood and sleep there. In a trailer, if you do that, at least for me, I feel like everyone knows we're in here sleeping. Yeah, especially so. a big silver one like this <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. In a van, depending on where you put your pipes and your water tank, you probably don't have to worry about things freezing, might not even have to winterize if you do it properly. Whereas in a trailer, your tanks are underneath, they're very exposed. Same with a lot of your pipes, so you usually do have to winterize and that's definitely affects us a lot more because we want to be in the mountains when there's snow if you're someone who's going to chase the warm weather then that doesn't really apply to you the next one is with vans you can do a lot more customization because you're building it from scratch so you can make every drawer exactly how you want it the bed the perfect length for you to save room uh, with a trailer you're just not going to have that because they come stock and yeah. you're going to have to pull stuff out and make customizations after yeah the most customization we had with the airstream was like what color do we want for the cushions and there's like three choices yeah that and then it. we got rid of those anyway, <laughs> so. as you can see we're with our new uh our new upholstered cushions yeah another pro of van life and this might be why we notice younger people do van life a little bit more yeah. and people who are a little bit older typically do trailer life which is lower starting price now definitely like you can get extremely expensive on either trailer or van but if you're just doing a bare bones van and an old used one and you're remodeling it yourself, you could do it for cheaper than probably buying a new trailer. Yeah. The next one is one that I came up with, which is little to no setup time for van life. And what I mean by that is when we're in the trailer and we get to a location, we have to crank down and unhitch. We have to set up all the stabilizers. Like there's a lot of setup that goes involved every time you get somewhere or leave somewhere. With a van, there might be a little bit, but for the most part, you park, you turn the keys off in the ignition and like you're done, you're good to go. Yeah, so definitely a lot quicker, which is nice when you're just in for a day. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely gets annoying when you're having to do that every single day. With a van, it's gonna be a lot easier to find places to sleep. Like we said earlier, you can sleep in a neighborhood and people might not even know you're in there. Mm -hmm. You can fit into parking spaces a lot easier. You can parallel park. So a lot more areas open up for you with a trailer. At night, we're pretty much limited to Walmarts and rest stops or campgrounds. We haven't had any issues, but it's just a little bit more inconvenient. Mm -hmm. Also in a van, battery life is a lot less concerned because you have the engine and the, what's the thing? In the An engine? alternator. The alternator to charge the battery. So when you're driving, you're charging the battery while in the trailer, not really. Yeah, I mean, it'll charge a little bit, but it's, it's it might as well be nothing. Now we're gonna move over to pros of trailer life. Yeah. Which by the way, all of the pros of van life would be cons of trailer life, basically. Yeah. One of the biggest pros and the reason that we chose a trailer is just space. Mm -hmm. The biggest van you can get is like 24 feet long, but the actual livable space you have in there I think is like 16 or 17. Yeah. I might be a little bit incorrect on both of those numbers, 
but I do know that it wasn't as big as like a 20 foot trailer, which is one of the smallest trailers out there. So more space, we have two living spaces. It's gonna be a lot wider. Our trailer is almost eight feet wide and vans like six maybe. Yeah, and then also I just, from being inside a van, it feels more compact. I don't I don't know why. Our just, trailer's taller. Yeah. And our trailer's probably feel like, two feet wider. Yeah. So, I mean, headspace still makes it feel bigger and the width is a huge, huge factor when it comes to space too. The next pro of trailer life is that mileage doesn't matter because it's a trailer. So if we put 300,000 miles on the trailer, it's not really on the trailer, it's on the car. We can just get a new car and the trailer's fine. While if it's a van and you put 300,000 miles on it like you're gonna have some engine problems probably and like what happens when your engine just dies one day in the in the van now you're you have to buy a new one and yeah, start and over you're out like however much you spent on the whole van yeah like we could swap moment. out our car tomorrow and this living space is still the same living space yeah that was huge for us too just because we plan on keeping it for a while the next thing and this is particular to airstreams but they have a really high resale value they're like the toyota of trailers you know <laughs> Fine, I mean, we have a Toyota. Yeah, we have a Toyota. <laughs> so we just like high resale value. But looking at the Facebook groups and people are selling their Airstream Basecamp 20X, exactly what we have, they're selling it for how much they bought it for. And they bought it a year or two years ago. That's just because there's a huge demand. They're really well known. They're really reliable. So if we do ever change our mind, we don't lose as much. Selling a van, because it's so customized, it's gonna be really hard to find someone who wants yeah. that exact layout. The next one is one that I love, which is that you don't have to build it. She has talked about <laughs> how she like maybe wants to in the future build a van herself, but I love the fact that it's just delivered from the factory and it's already built because I'm not a handyman, so I don't have to build this whole thing. It's just, it's, it's delivered nice and for me with a bow on top and I can drive it away. And on that topic, it comes with the warranty because of that. So in a van, if your engine goes out, you have warranty, but if your tabletop breaks or your bed collapses, mm -hmm. that's all on you. You have to spend time to fix that and spend money to fix that. Anything that breaks in the trailer for the next two or three years, we're covered and we don't have to worry about it at all, which is really, really nice. The next one is detachability. That's the like the one word I put on it. But basically like the car can separate from the trailer. And so that's beneficial for a few reasons. One, just like personal space. One of us can be in the car and the other person can stay in the trailer. Or, or also we can leave the trailer somewhere like at a campground, take the car into a city. Yeah, and that was another reason we chose the trailer. Less about going into the city, but more that we can leave the trailer at a campground or trailhead or whatever and go off road with the car more than even a van could get you just because of the off-roading capabilities of our car. Another pro of trailer life is that you still have a car. So unlike van life, or like if your engine breaks down in your van, you now don't have a car or a home. If something breaks down in our car, we still have a home. If something breaks down in the trailer and it has to go to the shop, we still have a car. So either way, you're still at least gonna have something. If you have a van and something breaks down, you're out of luck. You're in a hotel for who knows how long. That alone is a huge financial hit. Some van lifers we follow are actually dealing with that right now. And they've been talking about how it can be really stressful. So just knowing that we have one or the other takes a lot of the weight. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more content. Okay. Like this video, love you.